I'd say there's an issue. All right. The main purpose of this video today is to show you how to pull an auger. Uh, you can see why I'm changing out the, uh, a 10 foot section of pipe because the end was messed up. I guess the cable broke or something at some point and it bent and uh, he kept running it or, or whatever. I don't know. I don't care. But anyways, to, to pull an auger, if you're, if you're not confident in doing one, pulling one, don't do it. And, and, and it helps to have two people. But um, you can see my auger piece here. It's about three foot long or so, and it's real rusty. And I wanted it real rusty for a reason, because uh, it'll actually help grip this auger, the one I'm about to pull, um, when I pull on it. If it's a like a if my short piece is a new auger or a or, or, or real slippery, when you screw it in, it'll actually slide off and it'll unscrew as you're pulling it. So get you a real rusty old piece of auger. Uh, that'll help. So I got my short piece of auger ready. Here's my, here's my pipe. That's a new piece on here that I put a 10 foot section on it. And I got my vice grips ready and I like the straight jaw ones the best. And I'll pre-lock them kind of just where I know where the adjustment at. That way when I go to pull it, I don't have to start screwing the back and, and different things. But um, once I pull it, all right, you can see it's right there. That's about right. These things need seven inches of stretch per hundred feet. So it's a couple of hundred feet to the middle. So we're looking at 14 inches of stretch and that's about what I'll have. It's about 14 inches in. Um, so I'm going to screw it in some. And when I just about got to lay on the ground. Uh, Y'all can see me now. Just about got to lay down here in the chicken crap uh, to grab this thing. And you need two people, but if you only got one, you can struggle like I do. But when I pull this thing out and where them two augers are overlapped, I'm going to grab that because I don't want it to start slipping and, and, and run away from me. So here we go. All right. There's the double augers. That's where it's screwed in, and I'm going to pull myself out enough to work with. Ten locks. Ah, uh, those bad boys is locked as hard as I can lock them, and that's all there is to it. And I will not be sticking my fingers all in this when it's pulled out with this tight, because this thing can't suck in there, and this will cut your finger off so darn fast it ain't even funny but uh that's how you uh, how you pull auger pretty easy just got to be careful well this is what i did to fix his problems uh we put in a new uh piece of pipe and also put him a new long cord here if you y'all ever see these cores dangling on the ground down there where the chickens can get to it pick them up and, and do something pull it up in the ceiling or, or, or tie it to that do whatever because the chickens just hitting that thing all day it's a guaranteed service call uh we go to so many of them things that the wires messed up and shorted out but we got this fella fixed we fixed his issues with this this and i changed out his cord because he wanted something done to it and, and i don't think enough tape would ever fix that but uh if you want to see more chicken house videos let me know in the comments uh y'all can follow along if you want to or maybe you'll pick up a, a tip or two uh, i don't know but just let me know because um, i don't really film in the chicken house much because i try to get in and out in a hurry 
uh, I don't want to be in here filming and doing all this crap. It just takes too long. So if you want more videos of chicken house repairs, let me know. Till next time, we'll see you later.